Well, getting ready for my spring planting. Cleaning my 200 cell thingies. Distilled vinegar. Get rid of the mineral buildup. I let them soak. Then I scrub them a little bit. And that one's pretty thick over there. I have to turn the tray around. I'm going to start the bigger seeds right now. Old, very old melon seeds. These are very, very old Thai melon squash seeds. But these are fresh peppers, very old peppers, very, very, very old squash. 14. <laughs> Zucchini. Brand new petty pan, which I love. And I think there's only one seed left in that, which is very old. So I'm going to already push the hole and filled it with seed starter mix. Kept it watered. So let's see if we get anything from this. And this, yesterday, today, and tomorrow are the very best day to plant above ground crops. So we'll see what we get. Okay, there was only one of these, which is now back there. Didn't have any of these. These, my neighbor wanted some, so I put some in here, some in here, and there was only one of those. So, update on the seeds that got planted. And I'm following everybody else's rule with plant the seeds on their ends. This way they're not laying flat and staying wet. It's probably rotting. I'll get back over there. So, we'll see if this works. And I'm not going to be able to plant those on their end because they're such a little bitty ends. Now I'm going to put a layer of seed starter on top. Are you helping me? Huh? Are you girls helping me? Oh, Mom, this is a good place to be. It's got all kinds of goodies. Oh, Patricia, new... Bay, what's going on with your mango? Since you're back, I need an update. I got a mango from my neighbor. I just took it out of the seed casing, which was twice as big as this, so it's a very small seed. I did try growing one years and years ago. I don't even remember what happened to it, if it died or if I gave it away or... Well, I know it isn't here. I know you plant it on side so let's see if I get something I I would like to see what kind of success you had I know it sprouted but then you disappeared for a while so Patricia I'd really like an update on your mango thanks I have a friend who wants to grow a coyote or try to grow a coyote again you're supposed to put out a fresh one every year because they grow for three years. First year is kind of skimpy. Second year they bear like crazy. Third year skimpy again. It's skimpy, but I think I have enough coyote for right now. So once they have sprouted, you can tell where the roots are and where it's going to sprout from. And this one's going to have three vines coming out. And you bury just that part. Move the dirt out of the way. Compost. And just put it in that way. Give it some water. And we have chayote planted. Dan over at Home in the Sticks asked, what do I do with my coyote? Oh, there's another one I missed. Well, if I have enough of them, if I have hundreds like I used to get, I would make a pickle relish, or some people call it a chow chow. And I would 
run the chayote and onion through the food processor and use a good bread and butter pickle recipe. I don't have to can it. I, or I, I don't have to pressure can it or water bath it. It was perfect. Just put in the hot sterilized jars and keeps. The other one I really like when I only have one or two is it's a creamed. Is it creamed? I guess it's cream chayote with jalapenos and cilantro. I like shredding it in coleslaw or in my dinner salad. And these about that size and smaller, the end tips, are delicious in salads and stir fry. They say the roots are good. The only thing is, is I can't get near them. But I definitely have enough end pieces for salads. So it's going to come in for tonight's dinner. Oh, I see a couple of more coyotes.